Hello, my beautiful friends. I hope everyone is well. Today I'm sharing with you the part two of last week's review. If you haven't watched, I shared a video last week with the newest pieces from Cezanne, their winter essential collection. And as always, I'm not keeping all these pieces. I purchased some of them because I know how hard it is to shop online. And hopefully this review will give you some insight. The first piece that I wanted to show you is a shirt. I always get questions about shirts because I mostly share knits as I basically spend, I don't know, like 90% of the year wearing knits. Whether it's a cotton knit or wool, I'm always wearing a knit. I just love how it feels and how easy it is. You don't need to iron, you don't need to do anything. So I'm not a shirt person, but I confess that I'm really in love with this one. This is the Rosine shirt and I'll give you all the details. This is 100% silk. As you can see, it's a true white. Sometimes Cezanne says, a crew. And I brought a few pieces just to compare for you. Look at the Anouk jumper, how it compares to it. This is more creamy. This one is like in the middle and this one is the widest one. This is also Lucas in case you want to see the difference between them. So it's a true white, it's really beautiful. It is a little see-through as you can see. So you would likely need to wear a nude bra. The closest color to your skin is the best one. And as you can see, it does have a super, super low cut. Because of the low cut, you would likely need a bralette or just a cami top, unless you're fine with that, or you have a really long torso. In my case, I have a short torso, so you can see that the V-neck goes really, really low. It really depends on your shoulders and the placement, like your bust. I think all of that plays a role here. So it's important that you try on to understand exactly how it will fit you. This is my usual size, which is 36 or US 4, and I do like how it feels, but I'm curious to see what the size 2 would look like, because I do have a feeling that the V-neck is going to be a little bit higher, and of course the sleeves too. You can see that it's long enough if you want to wear untucked, and I really love the shirt, it's beautiful, great quality, the stitching is perfect, craftsmanship, all the details. This reminds me a lot, of course, of our clothes shirt, which is Cezanne's most popular shirt it's very pretty too but with clothes you're able to adjust the buttons and then you can make it higher or lower and just reveal as much as you want but the rosine shirt is truly gorgeous and i was very excited to show you because i know some of you will love the style the next piece of review is the samuel jumper samuel whatever you want to call and this is in size small which is my usual size the green is absolutely perfect i just love how this green is i as you know i always try to follow my color palette and i don't go crazy with colors i do wear neutrals the most but i love green so some shades of green i will always be inclined to try as i think it's one of the most gorgeous colors out there and this one is so pretty it's 44 percent polyamid 34 percent baby alpaca 22% merino wool. This one was super comfortable. It doesn't feel itchy, at least not on my skin. They had the beige and I didn't get a chance to try. So when they released the green one, I was very, very interested in seeing that in person and sharing with you. So I don't have anything like this in my wardrobe and I'm very tempted to keep this one because I think it looks gorgeous as is, but also as a third piece. You can see here that I'm wearing that with a shirt and also with a knit underneath. And I don't really love how the shirt combination looks on me, but I think it is a gorgeous combination for so many people. Sometimes, depending on your features, you know, your KB body type, I think some pieces will just look gorgeous on you and in others, it's just not going to work. And in my opinion, that's what happened to me. I just don't feel like I can pull that off, but I love how this looks without anything underneath and with a tighter sweater. I think it looks really great. This is a wonderful third piece and I feel like you can easily wear that during the spring or fall. And of course in the winter, if you want to wear this as a layer piece, I think it's beautiful. The next piece is also a knit and this one is in 100% cotton. So that's for those of you, my friends who do not live in New York City <laughs> or just want to wear that during spring and early fall because this one will not keep you super warm. So it's an open knit, which means it's more breathable and you can easily wear that even during the summer in the coolest days or if you want to get just an extra piece. It's 100% cotton, it feels really comfortable 
And as always, the details do not disappoint. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. This one does not have a very low cut. And as you can see, the color is quite white. It is not a white white as this one, but it's also not creamy as that. So I would say it's a nice light acru. Doesn't really feel creamy to me, but it's also not like um, super crispy white. So I hope that's helpful. I love how it fits. This is my usual size, which is small, and I think it's perfect. I wouldn't size down for this one as it feels quite fitted. And I tried to tuck it in, it looked great, and I think it's a very versatile piece. They have that in black as well, and I think I'm going to keep this one. I do have a lot of wool pieces, but I don't have cotton knits. And sometimes, especially during the spring when it's starting to get warmer, I love to wear these with skirts or shorts. I think it looks really, really fantastic. The next one is the Auguste jacket, and if you didn't see my reveal last week, I shared the navy version of that. This is 50% merino wool and 50% cotton, so very comfortable, it does not feel itchy at all. It has some heaviness to it, so it does feel like a really high-end piece. I love how it feels. This one has a beige, you know, yellowish undertone, it doesn't have much pink, so I think it's something to keep in mind, at least to me it felt more yellow beige. And I don't love the color on my skin tone, but I think this will complement a lot of you. It's really beautiful with all these details, the braided uh, details around the cuffs and the pockets, also the color, it's just really pretty. I'm wearing here the size medium, and it's quite big on me. I think I should have gone with my usual size, and I would recommend that, just take your usual size. Unless you're planning to layer and you wanna wear that as a third piece, then you might want to size up but in general i would say this is quite roomy it is cropped so you can see i have all my measurements down below as well as the links for these so i hope that's helpful one thing that really threw me off is the buttons it's so hard to unbutton this because it's all covered by knit and it was quite hard it took a while you know but that might not be a problem for you Anyways, I really like it. They have this in navy as well, and if I had to keep one of them, I would have kept the navy, but the same situation. I got a medium, and I feel like it was just too big for me. Now for the last piece, I'm finally reviewing the Will jacket. I had tried before the camel collar in store, but I don't own. I actually own one Will jacket in wool, but not in suede. Suede is quite tricky, I have to say. It is high maintenance. You do need to spray that if you want to wear whenever it's you know a little rainy but i wouldn't even recommend wearing that when it's raining because it's suede and if you get water in it it's likely going to ruin your jacket so it's hard when you have a stain to remove of course it's possible to remove and if you understand what the stain comes from you can definitely find the right product but i would recommend just go to a professional cleaner leather cleaner this is 100 percent gold leather so it feels very high-end and I love, love this color. When they released the khaki, it was the first piece that I saw on the lookbook and I said I have to try that because I love green. And this is a color that would go really with pretty much my entire wardrobe. I'm always looking for pieces if I'm going to keep something that will complement my wardrobe and not just pieces like scattered. Oh, this is cute. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, let me try that. I think this doesn't work at this point of my life. I really try to be mindful with the pieces that I'm actually keeping, although I do bring a lot of them just to do the review for you. So the Will jacket is fantastic. I think the, it's actually very well priced for what it is. It is a utility kind of jacket. You can see that it has those huge giant pockets. You can put your whole phone in there. This is the iPhone, I don't know, I think 15. Yeah, the 15 Pro, but it's not the Max. You could easily put the max here. Well, my phone has a weird texture, so it's hard to put on, but you see? It's just so easy to put your stuff in here, like your keys, your wallet, and just go. It's one of those pieces that, in my opinion at least, it's just so easy to throw on and go. I don't really like this with dresses and more feminine pieces. In my opinion, this is because it's a boxy fit. It looks the best with pants, but this is really my opinion. I've seen a lot of people wearing wool jacket with different uh, bottoms and just beautiful dresses and I absolutely respect how these people <laughs> chose that. I think if it works for them, that's what matters. But to me, in my opinion, it just feels better with 
pants or shorts or maybe a more boxy skirt if that makes sense so I think it's a gorgeous gorgeous piece I am highly inclined to keep this one because I've been wanting a wool jacket forever and this one really checks all the boxes for me I absolutely love the color the texture the size by the way that size medium I went up a size because I, I didn't want this to be too tight or just too fitted. I prefer that with a little more room in case you want to wear a knit underneath. I ordered also the Kiara pants in suede, but it didn't come in my box. So unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to review this time. I am still going to order because it's a pair of pants that I really love. I was super disappointed that when I opened my box, I had two items and not three. Of course, Cezanne did refund me and they gave me a voucher, which was really nice. Uh, but still, uh, it's sold out now and I'm not able to purchase and do the review for you. So hopefully on Sunday, I'll be able to purchase again. And next time I'm going to be reviewing for you as well as some of the archives pieces that already arrived so i'll be reviewing the archives very soon for you i hope this video was helpful if you're still here by now i really appreciate that you watched the whole thing thank you so much for watching and for being here i really really appreciate it i hope to see you in my next video so i'll see you very soon bye bye